So the next part of this wall assembly is has to do with uh, water proofing, um, rain shielding. This represents, uh, uh, this is Tyvek. It's also called Tipar building wrap. It used to be uh, tar paper in the old days, that black stuff they put around a building. But what that means is behind your siding, when, when water gets through and vapor gets through, it hits a waterproof barrier and it runs down. That's what this is. So we're putting it in store. Yeah, let's get some tight. Let's get this thing tight. So water, water comes through, rain comes through, hits this, goes down. This does not represent an air seal. The air sealing has already happened in the foam and in the tie back and behind the, uh, I mean in the foam and in the OSB and behind the OSB. The air sealing has happened. So now we're just dealing with water waterproofing. And next would be the, um, this, these, once again, these are furring strips for the uh, siding. A little, not quite straight on there, but you get the idea. The, now, I'll, you'll, these will make sense why, why are they here, uh, but this is beginning what they call rain shield. And we will uh, fur out the windows the same as. Doesn't always go together perfectly. There you go. So all this is put on so that when the siding goes over it, there's a space between the siding and the actual uh, vapor water water barrier. May as well trim out the windows. You pre right, in um, in this case we're using a hardy board, and in, what I like to do is pre-trim the windows and bring the hardy board up to it. So that's what this represents. We're pre-trimming the windows now. Whoops. What is this one? Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's window trim, painted window trim. Now, um, we're going to move down to the bottom here. This is a regular bug screen. Um, I'm going to move down. I didn't sure I put on before. Well, I didn't put it on before, but this bug screen would get put on at the bottom, like this, and the siding would get put on over it. And what, what it represents is, here, just hold that, please. Um, when the siding goes on, there'll be an air space behind it, so air can circulate underneath the siding, and then have the same bug screen on top, and the uh, air will go out the top, allowing air to move freely behind the siding, which is a, another step away from traditional building. But not your bugs. They don't get in airtight and watertight, and this is going to allow the siding to remain dry. So even if it gets soaking wet, air can circulate in behind it and dry out the siding in relatively quick time and avoid any just deterioration of the, the structure itself that's underneath. So it's like having a poncho or a raincoat on top of your house, as, if you will, but leaving some space in there so your good clothes underneath it remain all safe and sound. Um, traditionally, uh, you would, after the building wrap, you would put your siding right on that. So this is a step away from that. You're just creating an airspace between the siding and the building. This is a um, hardy board. It's a cementitious fiber board. Uh, and it's a uh, siding that I like to use because it's recycled, it's fireproof, it's, um, it has a 50-year warranty, as is. Um, so here's the siding going up. So now this is pretty cool. You've got your screen on the bottom for air moving up. Bugs can't come in. Um, you have an airspace behind the siding. And then you just start building your siding up one piece at a time, all the way up to the, to the top of the roof. And... Um, that's pretty much the basic wall assembly. I'll show you what it looks like around a window, since we have window trim on. Here's the siding coming up, up, up. You hit a window. 
pre-trim, you caulk around there, and uh, that's it. That's the whole wall assembly.